And the Padres, as you know, heading down south, south of the border to Mexico for the MLB World Tour and joining us today to talk all about it. I'm so jealous, Eduardo. The team's Spanish broadcaster, Eduardo Ortega. Señor, muchas gracias. Hola, ¿qué tal? Thank you for having me. Greetings from Windy City. Oh, beautiful Wrigley Field behind you. You know, that brick wall in the outfield is hard when the Ivy's not out, man. That's bricks out there. Yes, you know the spring, it takes longer to get here, but it's improving. It's warming up better than the last two nights. It looked so cold watching the games on TV. How, I mean, was it like 30 degrees or something like that? Yeah, Thursday night um, was, uh, Tuesday night was on the 38 at the start of the game. Oh, no, no, no. No, thank you. No, no, thank you. We don't we don't like 38 in San Diego. We uh, miss home. We miss home right away. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, let's get home. Uh, this next series, everybody's excited about this. When we found out the Padres are going to play in Mexico City, it's two games. You're traveling with the team. What's everybody most excited about? You know what? Be part of history. As the Padres always been so close to Mexico since day one, 1969. And uh, this is my 37 season, but this the most anticipated season in the competition on the field based on the roster since last December when they put together with the including of uh, the contract of Sander Boers. But now it's more than that. It's to be part of the first time ever official games in Mexico City, the capital of the country, mm. where right now baseball is inspiration for the rest of the sports and for the community right after what happened with the Mexican national team in the World Baseball Classic. Yeah, man. I mean, it's amazing. You know, they played in Mexico before. I think it was Monterey, like maybe, I don't know, 25, 26, I, 1996, I think it was. That was pretty special Correct. too, right? Uh, so going back yeah. there, I mean, it, it builds the excitement and kind of, like you said, it makes that connection between the Padres and Mexico that much stronger. Is the team with the most games and more official games starting Saturday and Sunday in the history of Major League Baseball out of the United States and Canada. Wow. 96, it was the first series in August with Fernando Valenzuela throwing and winning the first game that Friday against the Mets the weekend. The Padres take, uh, took two out of three against the Mets. And, uh, of course, Bruce Bochy and Dallas Green were the managers. In 99, the Padres got opening day in Monterey as well. And after that, the Padres went for the series in 018 with the Cinco de Mayo weekend to play the Dodgers. That, that was the big uh, rain night where they threw the no-hitter, the combined no-hitter from the Dodgers uh, against the Padres. But uh, the Padres been in Mexico every single day through the broadcast in oh, Spanish yeah. in Baja. And of course, they've been in Hermosillo and Culiacán, also an exhibition game. But this one is very special. We went in Mexico City, remember, in 19, uh, 2016 to play the Astros for a weekend, but that was exhibition. So this is exhibition, really yeah. very special. By the way, we're looking at some pictures. You look good in that City Connect, Eduardo. You look really good. <laughs> <laughs> uh, let's talk about that field in a little more baseball now. The field in Mexico City, uh, any advantages or disadvantages to playing in a field you've really never seen before in, uh, in terms of the conditions or anything like that? Well, Alfredo Harp Elu Stadium, named after the owner of the Diablo Rojos and part owner of the Padres, Mr. Harp, did a wonderful job. He donated the Mexican Baseball Hall of Fame in Monterey. He loves the culture of Mexico, but also baseball. He's one of the, I would say, the best, really, benefactor of yeah. uh, Mexican baseball. Talking, uh, talking sport, of uh, the feel of the ballpark. With the altitude in Mexico, it's mm. uh, even higher than yeah. Coors Field, by yeah. 2,000 more feet higher than the Mile High City. So everybody knows what baseball does there it flies higher oh, yeah. farther so all the big hitters can benefit from that but also it's a new beautiful facility that the potters play with the minor league team in exhibition a few years ago when they opened it and the season is already started the mexican summer league where tijuana has a team with us los, uh, los toros but uh, the red devils is the yankees of the league with the most championship ah. and is one of considered now this stadium, one of the best ballpark in Latin America and around the world, of course, like including Asia. I hope the light air in Mexico City uh, gets the Padres offense and wakes it up a little bit. I don't know if you saw, but like Crony is leading off today, not Tatis, and Machado is moving down to fifth. So, so Melvin's kind of moving that lineup a little bit, trying to kind of shake him up a little. 
Yes, you know, the team is with a lost, lost start and everybody's kind of uh, pushing the panic button. It's really not necessary. They have a wonderful lineup. This is a lineup with the big stars they're going to hit, believe me. And the fans can be really, really Yes, uh, tranquilos. Tranquilos. Cálmense, yes, no. por favor. Cálmense. Exacto. No They'll be hay, okay. No se Van a estar bien los padres. Ok, hay paciencia. <ríe> se paciencia, ponen nerviosos, guardo. nerviosos. Pero yo no me quiero poner <ríe> nervioso. Pero ¿qué le pasa a Soto? ¿Qué le pasa a toda esta gente? ¿No están bateando? Es verdad, es verdad. You know, a judgment could be... I don't want to really justify anything because they are major leaguers. Right. They are really getting the big contracts also. And the fans love them they've been doing this forever and oh, yeah. the lifetime play baseball in little league so what is going to happen is just timing adjustment the new rules you know sometimes people yeah. don't really take this serious but it's a distraction to have the clock against you yeah. every time in advance the eight seconds for the pitchers whenever they have runners on or bases empty the 15 the 20 yeah. seconds also to pitch so it's it's a combination so just hope that happens the everybody acclimates to the new rules paciencia otra vez paciencia mucha paciencia i don't know mucha. what i like the clock <laughs> i gotta let the season play out and see how i feel about this clock because if any of these clock issues happen in the bottom of the ninth or something anyway uh you are going to be part of the ceremonies in mexico city so congratulations in 37 years uh that is an incredible feat uh san diego and the padres are lucky to have you Uh, calling these games all the time. We appreciate you taking the time. Eduardo Ortega. Like Alex Miniak, huh? You like that? Eduardo <laughs> Ortega. Oh, B-Boys. B-Boys. There you go. Muchas gracias. Thank you Un for placer. having me. Un Have a wonderful broadcast. Y nos vemos a la próxima. Sí, señor. Gracias. Okay, muchas gracias.